Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering numbers. This is standard 6.2D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we simply need to find one of these values, f, g, h, or j, that represents a percentage between, so we've got 11% and 17%. Unfortunately, we've got two of these values that are in decimals and two that are in fractions. So none of them are given to us as a percentage, but it's not that difficult to change them over. So what I'm going to do to try to keep all of these values organized is I'm going to build a big number line here. And I am going to just kind of break this up. I'm going to make that 0. I'm going to make this 0 0.1. And we'll call it 0 0.10 just to make it a little bit easier because that's 10%. I'll tell you how I know that in just a second. And then I'm going to make this 0 0.20. And that is 20%. Simply because when we are changing from a decimal to a percent, so when we're going decimal to percent, all you do is you move the decimal two times to the right. So we'll take a look at this first one right here. Uh, 0 0.159. Let me make that a little bit bigger here so we can see it. 0 0.159. That's going to be 159 thousandths. So if I want to turn this into a percent, you don't always move the decimal to the very end. You move it over two times. And so now we're going to get 15.9%. It's okay if we have a decimal within our percent. So that is looks like that's going to hit uh, right around here. Let's put that right there. 0 0.159, and let's call that 15.9%, because 15 is right in between 10 and 20, a little bit, it's almost 16. So that immediately looks like that could be our answer. Uh, let's check the other ones. So I'm going to do 0 0.013, now even though that 13 Look at this, 13 is between 11 and 17, but move the decimal over twice, and it's only 1.3%, because this is 13 thousandths, not 13 hundredths. So one too many decimal spots. This is 1.3%, so that's going to go way over here, 0 0.013. And that's going to be 1.3%. So, not that one. Let's check these two. 11 thousandths. Well, I can write that because it's got a denominator that's easy to work with. Thousandths. 1, 2, 3. That's my tenths. That's my hundredths. That's my thousandths. So, 11 thousandths is going to look like that. So, unfortunately, it's going to look very similar to G. It's going to have one too many decimal spots. Move the decimal over once, twice. I'm going to get 1.1%. So that's going to be right here. And I'm going to have to just put 1.1%. And I'll draw a little arrow, 0 0.011. That's going to go right here. Ran out of room, but it's not within this range which I'm needing. Really I'm needing between 11 and 17. So here's my 11 and here's my 17. So that's really what I'm needing here. Let's check our last one. We've got six hundredths. So that's going to be boom boom. Six hundredths. So that's going to get us once, twice, oh, just a measly 6%. So it's going to get us right here. Not big enough, so my answer is F. 